we did also get, um, I think, in a separate blog post, uh, I think last week sometime, um, mm. the U7 XG and XGS. Um, so these are higher end models. And in their video introducing it, they, they really talked up the fact that they, when they were designing the E7, um, so these were the new enterprise grade high end access points. Yep. Um, those have like a totally different uh, design where they have that kind of like black uh, metal plate on the back. Um, so it's like better heat dissipation. Um, th there's a lot of things that go into that design to make it small, compact, and able to, you know, handle the heat that those radios generate and all those things. So they kind of took the lessons from those products and made kind of, uh, you know, more flagship, um, you know, U7 Pro level yeah. APs. And that's what these are. Um, so the big feature for the XG and XGS are, you know, the XG um, in, in ubiquity speak means a 10 gigabit interface. Um, so these have 10 gigabit RJ45 Ethernet uplinks, just one of them. They don't have dual uplinks like the E7s, um, but they are kind of more middle of the range. Um, so the XG is 199 and the XGS is 299. Um, the XGS adds um, two additional spatial streams on uh, 5 gigahertz and it also adds the spectral scanning radio. Um, but otherwise, the, yeah, the XG is uh, tri-band, 2x2 two two for each band. Um, the XGS is 4x4 uh, four four for 5 gigahertz, but uh, still tri-band. Mm. So um, a bit more uh, capacity on 5 gigahertz and the spectral scanning radio um, for the XGS. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very nice. It, it just kind of, for me, it kind of muddies the middle of the lineup a little bit, where once you get into that, you know, 150 to 300 dollar range you got a couple options you have the u7 pro u7 pro max the mm -hmm. xg the xgs uh i might be forgetting one or two there but it, it, there there's like more overlap now in that middle of the range um but these are very nice they do have a you know slimmer design um they say it they handle heat better which a lot of people had concerns with the the u7 pro and pro max mm -hmm. um about how hot they got that's that's the summary it's it's a new design it looks better it's thinner um it's it's flat rather than kind of mm. a rounded dome top um and otherwise they seem you know like a pretty nice middle of the range kind of uh yeah getting into the pro territory just because of the the 10 gig uplink yeah um it's just you'll have to start <laughs> uh really going through each spec and and saying you know do, do i prefer to have a 10 gig uplink or do i prefer to have this feature on this other one yeah. um it makes the decision a, a little bit more complicated that's true and also it comes in black for the first time on a unify ap as well yeah i saw that they it's interesting they don't appear to be on the store the black no. versions they did oh, mention yeah. that they are coming in black so i assume that'll be coming soon yeah that's quite cool 